It's your boy Sean the Barber, and I am a barber. So what made you want to be a barber? Shit, I didn't want to be. Nigga just didn't cut my hair low enough, and I knew mom was going to make a nigga go back in that shop. She had the clippers in the bathroom in Battleview. Shit, I just knocked my own shit down. Next day, I pieced up a nigga to, uh, to cut a nigga hair for like $10. Me and his other nigga, he cut one side, I cut the other side. Well, I don't know, I took it a little more serious than the other nigga did, and I never stopped. Shit, been cutting that ever since. I used to do it on the side a lot though. One day that shit changed. 2008, 2005, really. I went to Virginia after the hurricane. Boy showed me a whole different side of that cutting hair thing. But I still ain't had no license on. So, education pays. So, what, what makes a good barber? Asking me what makes a good a good lover. You either got it or you don't. You only as good as the people you cut. Basically. And what that means, you only good as the people you cut. You are a reflection of your clients. Your clients is a reflection of your personality. So the kind of clients you attract is the kind of person that they think you are. So if you got a bunch of ratchet niggas, they might think you a ratchet nigga. You got a bunch of pussy niggas, they might think you a pussy nigga. You cut a bunch of gay people. I cut Broad horizon. I don't know. I, I don't really do designs and all that. I, I'm not. That, I'm not that kind of barber. That, you know, that theatrical barber, whatever. Extravagant barber. I'm that everyday barber. Weddings, funerals, judges, everything. I'm the one, the nigga that get your shit right. I'm the nigga that restore your shit. I'm about to start working for Bosley, nigga. Tell so you to start giving niggas head back instead of cutting niggas shit out. Shit, I done cut everywhere, man. I did get arrogant whenever uh, I got I got the license. I ain't gonna lie, kind of went to my head. But can you blame me though? I be cutting her five, four dollars, and then give me a dime sack, give me a sleep here, give me a ride here, get some pussy, man. What? I got that license. That solidified it. That let me know it's real. Then I learned more stuff while I was in school. It's not even. It's bigger than just cutting the nigga hair. It's it's way deeper than just cutting hair. Nigga think that you will come in that shop and cut hair. You can as long as I'm not there. So do you feel like you one of the best barbers in the Lake Charles area? Nah. They got like, I know for sure two of them better than me. And a nigga named Corey, a nigga named Lil Rex. I gotta tip my hat, give them they just do. Nigga better than me. So you saying you're the best three? You, you're, you're in the top three? I give myself the top three. If they think otherwise, well, I ain't tripping, you know. They can think what they want. Come cut with me. Let me come cut your shop and we'll see about that. We'll see if you feel like, you know, if you is better than me, you ain't that far better than me. Whatever I don't have, I'm going to get from you, basically. I went from not knowing to arrogant to confident. No longer arrogant. Now it's confident. I don't got to go on no shopping. Tell a nigga, oh, he fucked that cut up or steal your people or whatever, whatever. I can go on that cut. I got, I got. Can you cut? Uh, like Caucasian people hair, or are you just rather cut just black people style hair? Can you cut white people hair? That's kind of why I'm in the shop. I cut white people hair, Asians, Jamaican, Puerto Ricans. I got some Mexicans with the thick ass that do eyebrows too. I do the I do the 90 degree cut on the women. I'm trying to start using the shears more to start cutting weaves and shit like like doing their weaves and shit. They pay a lot of money for that shit. The weaves is weave come just as weave, but they still gotta shape that shit. I won't be the nigga that shape, charging Buku money for a little bit. Petition a lot of my her head. I don't wanna be no petition, no. I don't know. I don't know about that shit. What's your what's your vision as a barber? What you see yourself in the next ten years cut you know what I mean? Having a barber school. I wanna teach how to cut hair. But I ain't, I know I, I love cutting hair, but I can't cut hair forever. Eventually something's gonna happen. Okay. Or something. 
I want to teach how to cut hair. Since you like to teach people how to cut hair, can you show us some of the some of your uh, your clippers and what they use for? Yeah, I can show you a little something, something. I got these 76ers. These are the big power ones. That's the one that knock down shit real quick. They come with these like $200. They come with blades like these metal. Heavy too. They like $40 a blade. I've been switching though to these fast speeds with the purple magnetic guard. These bad boys are true. I can cut a lot faster too. And like clean a lot, lot better. I only use one kind of edges, man. That's them T-edges. T-edges, and this, that's it. That's the only one to get the job done. Only ones I do. I got all my little tools up in here. Anything I need, extra blades, comb, or picks, more blades. I stay with some blades. Got my comb, got my towel. Got to get the five in one, man. Coolant, disinfectant, lubricant cleaner, rust preventer. Got to get all that shit kill AIDS, man. Keep you a little some alcohol. Shit, that's about it. That's all I need. I don't even need it. I need all that. But shit, that's what happened. You can reach me at 337. This number right here on the screen. 337-309-2983. You can text me. You can Facebook me. I ain't got a Twitter yet. You can hit me through the word of mouth. You can hit me on the street with some kind, some way. I can come to you or you can come to me and I'll get you that cut.